Alright, so there's a small chance that you guys didn't know that we actually create gaming mice. So I hope you guys are ready for a three-parter. I'm Mikey, and this is your Sadays Weekly Update. Alright, so we've covered a plethora of keyboards, headsets, and even gaming chairs and gaming desks in the past. But one thing we've been really quiet about is mice. Until today, of course. This week we're starting off with the first of three updates for you guys geared specifically on gaming mice with full in-depth coverage to go over the sizes, DPIs, switches, and of course the feel. With that being said, let's fire it off with the Scythe RGB Gaming Mouse. This is our first real endeavor into full-on RGB gaming mice, and while it's been going strong for a few years now since its 2017 release, I've got to say this much. It holds up with the rest of our lineup. Built specifically with response performance tracking and precision in mind, the Scythe isn't just unique looking, but rather a heavy hitter by today's standards. Weighing it at only 98 grams, not only is the Scythe lightweight, but extremely durable, coming in roughly at about 132 millimeters in length by 74 millimeters in width, with a height of about 40 millimeters. At first glance, the mouse looks rather small, but as a gamer with large mitts, it fits well without feeling like I'm gripping a softball. Under the bottom of the mouse, we've ensured to add a durable, glide-friendly PVC material to give the mouse a much more premium feel when it comes to sliding in and around your mouse pad. This has been tacked on with a premium 3M adhesive to ensure that it does not come off. To the side, we've added a very aggressive curvature to give you a better grip with your thumb while using your ring and pinky finger on opposite sides to give you even more control when moving your mouse. Just in the front of your thumb positioning is an FPS sniper button, which is fully programmable. By default, the sniper button is activated and essentially takes your current DPI settings and cuts them down in half. This gives you better accuracy when tracking targets on screen for a moving headshot. Now as we move to the top of the mouse, we've also got a handful of options for on-the-fly DPI adjustments. This gives you a range of roughly 250 to 4000 DPI, which can alternatively be configured to your liking, giving you four independent presets which can be made from the site's software. All of which of course is downloadable for free from sadays.gg. The Scythe software not only allows for custom DPI settings, but also your USB polling rate, button configurations, and of course your RGB lighting, which it has a handful of. There are 11 modes that can be navigated and programmed to the mouse with just a single click, allowing users to personalize their lighting to their liking. Next, we'll actually move to the sensor, the Pixar A3050 optical sensor. Now, we found that these are obviously far from the best sensors out there, but they do one hell of a great job in terms of performance by offering a maximum acceleration of 30 Gs. And yes, while this is actually faster than any one person would ever need, it's nice to know that you've also got a ton of headroom. With an 18-month warranty and driver-free configuration, the possibilities are endless with the Sede's site. Now, scoop this out. Not only are we going to give away the site through our newest streamer, Ryua, but we're also giving away the Revolver and Axe Gaming headset, which we'll be talking about more over the next two weeks. Make sure to tune in and click those links in the description to get set up with all the intel and get yourselves entered. And until next time, I'm Mikey with your Sadays Weekly Update, growing together with gamers. We'll see you next time.